Hey guys, what's going on? Explosive Coin here, and today we are looking at some Shadow Play by the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Now, this is a new game capture recording software, actually, made by NVIDIA using their GTX line of graphics cards. Um, if you have an AMD graphics card or an Intel onboard graphics card, I'm sorry, but this isn't really going to be working out for you as this is part of the NVIDIA GeForce experience. <laughs> but if you have a higher-end GTX desktop NVIDIA card, then you're in luck. I mean, it could be anything along the lines of like a PNY, an EVGA. I'm using an EVGA. It's been working out pretty well. But the beautiful thing about this, it, this software is that it hardly has any frame drops. If you can see on my top left corner, I have the EVGA Precision. Um, toolkit. Uh, it's actually running at 60 frames per second with this software on and with fraps well you can see it dip down to 40 but that's normal actually like I'm playing on a um, GeForce GTX 760 and with a I mean you'll see pictures right now but it's an AMD FX 8120 8 core processor both of them are kind of overclocked a little bit I have my GTX 760 overclocked to 105 megahertz plus 105 megahertz and uh, it's running at like 60 tem 60 degrees temperature so I mean it's it's alright I don't want to overclock it too much right now because I just got the graphics card to play games like this on a higher quality uh, I'll show you my quality right now actually my bad, that's sound. So my graphics are at higher end. Um, they actually, Assassin's, the Ubisoft actually just released a, an update, a graphics update for Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And uh, I actually did get higher frame rates before the update. So I'm guessing the update did make the game look a lot better and in, in, consequence make my frame rates go down a little bit and I don't I, I mean I'm fine with it honestly anything above like 45 frame rates is fine by me but and I know some of you are yelling at me and I know some of you are still yelling at me right now because I'm playing this game on a keyboard but I'm doing this just for recording purposes <laughs> I usually play on a wired Xbox controller but uh, yeah I mean because the purpose of the software is I mean the purpose of the video is to explain the software to you but yeah it's an it's a pretty cool software and it's so early in the beta so I'm pretty sure they're gonna be optimizing it more and more and more actually a picture will pop up right now they just released an update giving telling you that you can stream over twitch with this shadow play enabled so now you don't have to worry about things like X play or whatever other software you're using slowing down your frame rates because this is going to be working just fine i mean if it can record at such great frame rates it can probably stream just as well i haven't tried the streaming out yet i might release a video later uh explaining the streaming process but it's it's working the same way basically you're going to be able to see something on the top right corner you can't see it on this but there's like a little circle and it has arrows going around it's not even that big it's it takes up a good half inch. <laughs> I mean, it takes up a good inch to half inch of the screen on the top right corner in like a cubic in a square. And um, basically it allows you to hotkey something. So I'm what my hotkey is control F12 and control F11 for the two for the two hotkeys so I can start to record. So my control F12 allows me to start manual recording, like what I'm doing right now with my voice control, no other software, just my voice in the in the software and the video itself. So my control F12 allows that to happen and it, and it records onto my primary hard drive. Uh, I actually had a secondary hard drive that I recorded it to, but right now I'm using that to boot Steam OS, which is so cool right now. <laughs> but yeah. My Control F11, also one of the coolest parts about this. So with the release of the Xbox One and the PS4, there was this cool new feature where you could press share or whatever, and it would upload the last 15 or so minutes of your gameplay. And what NVIDIA is doing to kind of combat this for PC gamers like you and I, if you are a PC gamer, um is it records the last five minutes up to up to about 25 or 30 minutes I believe you can check it in the settings for yourself 
it can record the last however many minutes that you did and it's so fast like literally you just click the button or whatever hockey you have and it'll go it'll just do it while you're still in the game it doesn't interrupt your game at all it doesn't like on the ps4 and the xbox 360 it brings up a menu and you have to like go through the menu it takes like five seconds but it's still an obstacle whereas on the pc with nvidia you can just press the button and it goes to your hard drive it's so easy and it's so simple and it's so nice <laughs> i don't know i love it and it's so early in beta too they just released a twitch which is so useful for people who do things like me like people who just release videos i don't do it that often I'm, I'm not as dedicated as a lot of other people because i have so many other responsibilities but even for people that are just trying it out as long as you have a higher end gtx it says a GeForce, GeForce desktop GPU 600, 600 series or higher with an Intel Core i3-2100 or an AMD Athlon X uh, quad core. Um, the Intel going at 3.10 gigahertz and the Athlon going at 2.8 gigahertz. So, and 4 gigabytes of RAM with Windows 7 at least. So, I mean, the, the, specifica the minimum specifications are kind of steep in terms of like just get like being able to do this that well i'm gonna get caught right now so that's that's kind of steep i mean it's it's asking for not this the cpu is that you can get for about a hundred to 150 dollars that's not too bad that should come with any medium grade uh, desktop the gtx 600 series or higher that's a good i mean a 660 is like 120 dollars you can find now so that's pretty good. I mean, two hundred dollars of two hundred and fifty dollars of hardware for, I mean, recording high-end games at like no FPS drop. This is a very vegetated area and is dropping my frames a lot. If you can see the frame rate, I'm very ashamed for you, elitists out there. But I mean, it's great. I I totally think this beats Fraps. I've been using Fraps for as long as I've been recording and. It totally just shuts this out of the wire. The only problem that I find right now is that you can't record your desktop. You can only record when you're in the game because that's how it uses the hardware of the, your graphics card to allow for that low FPS. But, I mean, it's not that big of a price to, pr to pay, honestly. And you can always download something like Camtasia or Cam Studio. Download... I mean, download it, put it on your desktop for whatever you need, whatever you need, and then switch over to your PC gaming software, which is this. So, I don't know. It's really cool, and it's so early in beta that they're going to be releasing it more and more updates all the time. Uh, the file sizes are obviously going to be kind of big because the quality is so nice. It's like fraps in that sense. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I mean, just try it out for yourself if you have a GTX 600 series or higher and a decent processor, you should be fine. I have an FX8120 8-core processor. Um, I overclocked it to about 3.6 gigahertz, so I mean, I'm more than fine, but um, I'm honestly, just try it out. It's really cool. It works. It's working right now. <laughs> so yeah, please feel free to try it out and please like subscribe and comment any of that good stuff anything is appreciated so yeah i'll catch you guys later